on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, somewhere between Jack Nicholson and the Backstreet Boys, a man in a hat is doing some sightseeing. Johnny Depp. He's, he, he's, he's awesome. Love the guy. Jack Sparrow. The names, he says. Glenn Close. The beautiful names. The first thing when I came to Los Angeles, the first thing I came here to walk and to see names, to read the names, to see, to feel the resonance. The thing is, if there were a walk of fame in the Middle East, he'd be on it. You want proof? <laughs> I'm walking with him for just a minute when this Hollywood tour operator from Algeria recognizes him. Big fan, a big fan. So you know him? Of course, right? What do you know him from? The, the most famous TV show. Jay Abdo. He's appeared in more than 20 plays, 40 movies, and like a thousand TV episodes seen by millions across the Arab world. But even for the relatively well-off, living under the Assad regime, he says, was like living in North Korea. If anyone spoke out... Everybody knows you disappear, and you disappear forever. Then, in 2011, the Arab Spring came to Syria. And then followed by disappointment, I imagine. Uh, because we, we, we didn't expect the regime to be so horrific. During the protests, friends, fellow actors, even his cousin were all arrested. A reporter from the LA Times asked him about what was causing the civil unrest in his country. And I said, I couldn't tell her, stop the recorder. I just, she smiles and, okay, let's stop it. And he opened up to her. The next day, he was shocked to see the article said he openly accuses the security forces of torture and corruption. That's when the threats started pouring in one of them from the head of a major Syrian movie studio. He called me and he said, uh, tomorrow you appear on TV and you say sorry, and you tell them, I believe in my president, I believe in my army, and so and so and so. And I told him, I, I, I think I have shooting tomorrow, I have filming. He said, you have nothing. When Assad supporters started confronting him in the streets, he knew he had to leave. His wife was studying in the U.S., so he left Syria, but the threats followed online. He was being pursued by what he calls Syria's electronic army. It must have been surreal to feel this arm come all the way from Syria and touch you here in California. Yeah. Uh, the, the hardest part was that my wife and I, we still have families there. Whenever they can't reach out to you, they go to your beloved. When he got to L.A., he went on more than 100 acting auditions. I emailed every manager and agent in town, telling them my credentials, my body of work in Syria and around the world, and my languages, my everything. All ignored. All ignored. Part of the problem, his real name, it's not Jay. When I came here and I introduced myself to somebody, hi, my name is Jihad. And he stopped and looked at me and said, your name is Jihad? I said, yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and then <laughs> I said to myself, I have to find another one. It's just the name, you know? But even recast as Jay, Abdo literally couldn't even get a job at Starbucks. So he ended up delivering pizzas. It was agonizing. He could see the Hollywood studios, but he couldn't get in. Until 2013, his big break. He met a Syrian-born producer who was working with acclaimed director Werner Herzog on the film Queen of the Desert, starring Nicole Kidman. Herzog was looking for someone to play her character's guide. I shall follow the lady to the end of the world. And when Werner came back and he told me, welcome aboard, I felt that big, old, thick portal was opening and... The sound and the light is coming from inside, you know? Now, a year after he was turned down for a job at Macy's, he's at the North American premiere of his new movie. I'm so excited, uh, a little bit nervous. 
But of course, Hollywood has a way of humbling newcomers. We're not letting you in? I don't know. As he struggles to get into the screening of his own film. He's, he's in, in the movie. movie. That's me telling security he's in the movie. In fact, if they were to look slightly to their left, that's him on the poster. Under Nicole Kidman, there he is, the man on the camel. This is great. Yes, this is yes. amazing. Yeah. And also, soon he'll appear in another Hollywood film alongside Tom Hanks. That's two movies with two stars on the Walk of Fame. In my mind, you know, in my body, that this was my, my dream for forever. And I've never expected to be here one day. It's a Hollywood story, and he knows it. Abdo has actually started writing the screenplay for a movie or TV series based on his improbable, amazing life. When everything happened in my country and I had to flee, and I came to this country, to this wonderful country, to this, to Tinsel Town, it happened. And how does his screenplay end? With Jihad on the Walk of Fame? Probably not, but Jay? Yeah, he says, why not? Kim Bruntuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.